Hi, my name is Doug Pat, and this is So You Want to Be an Architect, a seven-part series exploring the profession of architect. This is lesson one. What does an architect do? An architect can perform many roles, including design, specification writer, construction observation, ombudsman, and even in some cases, construction. But for the purposes of this discussion, I'd like to focus on design. According to one definition from my Apple Computer Dictionary, the architect is a person who is responsible for inventing or realizing a particular idea or project. Another definition states that an architect is a person who designs buildings and in many cases supervises their construction. Finally, Wikipedia's definition works really well. An architect is a person who translates a user's requirements into a built environment. To summarize then, an architect, one, invents, two, designs buildings, and three, translates the user's requirements into a built environment. In a way, all three definitions fall under the category of design. For the purposes of this discussion, let's talk about all three separately. First, we know an architect invents. An inventor creates something out of necessity that does not exist already. In a way, every building, every house, every skyscraper, everything architects create, if it's original, is an invention. A building becomes something of an invention by virtue of the specific requirements of the client. Its utility lies in its unique function for the person or people it's designed for. Second, we know an architect designs. To design is to plan with a specific purpose in mind. To me, designing implies a kind of thoughtful planning relative to a set of parameters. All kinds of things are designed after they're invented. Vacuums, sneakers, printers, headphones, telephones, chairs, tables, silverware, and of course buildings. The architect designs a building after it's conceived or invented. Thirdly, the architect is a translator in that they translate a user's requirements into a built environment. When you first meet with an architect, one of the first discussions is about the program. The program is essentially a description of everything that will be going into the building. If it's a home, the program includes number of powder rooms, bathrooms, bedrooms, how many car garage, etc. If it's an industrial building, the program includes machinery, offices, technology, etc. If it's a skyscraper, it includes use, number of occupants, utility spaces, executive suites, number of floors, etc. In simple terms, the architect takes the program and turns it into a building. So. We see that while all three of these items, invention, design, and translation, fall under the category of big D, design, each is vital to the role of an architect. So, if someone asks you, what does an architect do? You know to start with, they're inventors, they're designers, and they're translators. And that concludes the first part of our video series, So You Want to Be an Architect. I'm Doug Patton. See you next time on How To Architect.